I'll speak uh, Canadian. <laughs> Mon cher ami, я дуже радий to be here. <laughs> the country is changing. It's obvious. Actually, the country is being changed. It's being changed by people. Uh, it's people who are in the government, in the broader sense, not just cabinet of ministers, but in the broader sense, and civil society. And this is a win-win combination that is a strong driving force uh, that changed uh, the country. And that is a new reality after the revolution of dignity. Because if it's um, government without support of civil society, um, you know, those initiatives doomed to fail because um, we need support, we need buy-in from civil society, from people. If people don't understand the, why we want to achieve, it doesn't like to, to, to succeed. Well, civil society without support of the government usually leads to revolutions, as we all know. Um, so at the moment, we have this strong um, link between, between the two, and that's why, and that's why um, the, the reforms are started to move um, uh, with totally different, totally different um, pace. So I'm representing the, the government side, so let me tell you a bit about the, the new government that came uh, just two uh, months ago, really, after some period of political instability that actually damaged, significantly damaged the, the investment climate. Um, but uh, we have now, as you know, how I see it, as a team of, of doers, of decisive doers who, who come to, uh, to realize whatever we accumulated so far. And we have people with significant experience in, uh, in self-governance, in parliament, uh, former MPs, people uh, from business, uh, from investment uh, community like myself, uh, with some experience in reforms. So we have quite a quite, uh, strong team, and which is supported now by smaller coalition, but more solid coalition. So I believe it's a, again, it's another win combination that will help us to, um, to progress quickly with, um, with reforms. Uh, now, as I said, um, you know, I'm myself from the investment uh, world, right? And um, I usually, when I was in the government, I was looking from a side and uh, looking at opportunities in different countries. And Ukraine was always described as a country of, of um, constantly grow, growing potential. Um, well, it's time to realize this potential, of course, and to convert this potential energy in the energy of, of, of uh, movement um, that would lead to economic growth. And um, in this, now we'll move to slightly, you know, to more pragmatic things. Um, what is important uh, for business, for, for investors, is actually, A, to create investment opportunities. Because, believe it or not, um, sometimes it's difficult to find them. Uh, why? Because we haven't finished the structural reforms. But we're doing it now. Just give you one example, the fact that we as a government adopted we, uh, the, uh, the market level gas price. Uh, it's not just heroic move, uh, it is something we communicate internally. That's how we, you know, we're not afraid of populist. But actually, pragmatically, practically speaking, that opens the opportunity for investments and development of the energy sector. Because you created, mar we created market there, right? So it's new opportunity for, uh, for investing in, uh, in upstream, it's new opportunities for investing in the energy efficiency. Um, the same uh, opportunities will be created when we will um, uh, when we implement land reform. As you know, the potential of the agricultural sector is enormous, and we, and we 
ourselves restricted by not allowing a normal market to work. So the, this government will open opportunities for investors. And investments are very important because investment, investors will change the country. IMF, World Bank, EBRD, with all respect, they cannot. They are partners that finance us and support us during this period of changing reforms. Uh, but despite the uh, reputation and strength of these institutions, uh, we need much bigger resources. And those resources will come only if we um, will change, will provide, we will implement the structural reforms. And here IMF, World Bank, EBRD are very strong partners. And we're looking at them as, 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 as such partners, really. So not people in Ukraine may be thinking about this as those who provide financing for us, for us to live every day. No, we as a government think differently. They are partners that help us to develop the country. And the good news is uh, for, for those of you from investment and business, and I believe it's majority, is that we, uh, we are on positive track with, with IMF. I just returned from Washington where we about pretty much we finalized the, uh, the last uh, uh, elements of, of, of memorandum. So we're expecting some positive decision in, uh, in, in July. And that means uh, uh, some more positive news from other uh, our financial uh, uh, partners. So that invest, creating investment opportunities. Second is, is, um, is trust. And this is again IMF program um, implementing some other reforms which is actually our interno international uh, obligation. And the third element is improving the business climate. And here a lot of was done already, uh, but that's the same that you can do a lot but without addressing really serious problems to the very end, right? Business will not feel different. For example, we can eliminate all inspections, but if tax office will not work properly, if judiciary system will not work properly, um, that significantly restricts the, the business climate, and that's in, an investor uh, um, attitude. So the good news that um, Two weeks ago, the government, uh, so the parliament uh, adopted the changes to constitution uh, that launches the judicial reform. That's a great news for everyone. Because now we have everything under control. And it's a question not if, but when. And whatever it depends on the, on the government, the cabinet of ministers, we already have plan, as uh, uh, my colleague uh, Mr. Kubiv said, is we, by the end of the summer, we're changing the reform of state inspections. This is something which everybody expects by cutting inspections half. Uh, that reform was started two years ago, but wasn't finished. Um, that needs to be done, and it will be done. Then, very important reform of tax office and, uh, and customs. This is uh, this um, state fiscal service under coordination of uh, of the Ministry of Finance, of my coordination. So this is for me a number one priority. And I will tell you that that will be a different institution by the end of the year. Uh, overall, the regulation efforts, this is uh, the key leading role here, uh, it belongs to the Ministry of Economy. Um, rule of law, as I said, judiciary and uh, the reform of uh, Prosecutor General Office has started with appointment of new Prosecutor General, Lutsenko. And um, not la uh, last but not least is the removal of restrictions on, on, on capital. Um, as you know, um, unfortunately, two years ago we implemented some restrictions on, 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 on capital and even, the, for example, the dividend cannot be now repatriated from the country. So that significantly restricts the business climate. We understand this, we act on it, and uh, after the, uh, the IMF uh, review, we already agreed that we will start gradually lifting this, uh, this limitation. That again, this is, a, this is a good news for all investors and for us who are looking for these investors, investments. 
So what I would like to say at the end is message for everyone here is that it's time to move in. We need you and success awaits for you in Ukraine. Thank you.